another commentary channel. Forgive me if my bundling up bothers you. I'm only trying to blend in with our list of criminals today. Dumb criminals. Our first dumb criminal wanted to break into a bakery, which I don't know why that would be where you would want to break in. I don't know what the margins are in robbing a bakery, but they can't be the juiciest in the industry. So, he fell in through the roof. That's that's what happened. He's an idiot. He fell in through the roof and the ceiling into a storage room, and he was unable to get out of the storage room for 30 minutes. And then, and then he goes and turns himself in. I, you know, I don't know if this one needs to be on here, honestly. This is a very, eh, dumb criminals. So, listen. These, these dumb criminals, I don't know. I, I, I didn't source correctly this time, so... So, next up, in Brazil, these two guys thought, hey, let's go rob some guy's house and take his jewelry in particular. So, little did they know that the police would show up while they were robbing, as they do, while the thieves got away for the time being. The police were quick on their tails. And when the police caught up to them, they could only say one thing, which I'm sure was something in Portuguese about stop right there, you're under arrest, we're taking you to jail. We, we suspect that you have robbed people. Anyways, so they arrest these guys and one of them says, I'm not feeling good, I have a tummy ache, I'm not feeling so well. So they take him to the hospital and what do they do? What do they find? On an x-ray, they find that this guy ate a bunch of jewelry. He ate tons of jewelry, as DJ Khalid would say. What did they do? They contacted the owner of the jewelry and they said, hey, listen, buddy, is this your jewelry? And he says, yep, that's my jewelry. So they, they cut this guy open. I mean, they really did do that, but it's called surgery. And they got the jewelry back. What a, what a story. What a finish for that one. Could have said that in one sentence. All right, next up, we have a 32-year-old robber. He tried to be a robber, but he wasn't good enough at it. And he was in the United Kingdom. That's where the story takes place. He tried to climb a house, but it had a terrace on it, and he got all tripped up in it. You guys ever seen a terrace? I get why he why he got all tripped up in it. I get that. I would not want to walk on one or deal with one. They got narrow slap, and I don't have time for that shit. Anyways, this, this guy, he got stuck upside down on the terrace until someone saw him in a very obvious robber getup. So, that's a case closed right there. And I'm sure that he was taken to jail. Next. Alright, so, I kind of already know this one because I thought my camera was recording last time, but it wasn't. Wow. So, I'm reading this one again. I already know what it is. You want me to just tell you? Some guy in Illinois... He was like, I'm gonna go rob this bank. It's gonna be sick. I'm gonna take their money. I'm gonna do this. I got this baby. I'm gonna be quiet about it. I'm discreet, right? I'm not gonna yell, this is a robbery. I'm gonna give him a note, because why not? So this guy does that, which to be fair, is the better idea, slipping a note. I mean, you don't want to yell. He, he wrote them this note on his pay stub, which... <laughs> Dude, it has his name and address like right next to each other, you know? It's one thing to have them separate, no context. It's like, this is Daryl Smithers. He lives at 123 Pine Street. This is who it is. <laughs> I can't I can't be surprised by this next one like I was initially, because I had to record this again. They in Croatia, two two druggies were pulled over with 103 grams of marijuana. Uh, way to start your criminal story, dude. We got dudes breaking into buildings and some dudes that just wanna, just wanna get down. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Anyways, they got pulled over with 103 grams of, of marijuana, which does sound like a lot when you don't know the conversion. That's like a quarter pound. Is that, is that a crime? Is it? In Croatia, I guess it is. Cause I'm not gonna tell you the rest of that story cause I don't think they're criminals. Dude, it's just, this guy, they, they, it's just a story of like, it's so petty, dude. These guys had nugs with them. There was a text message on their phone about like, hey, will you water my weed plants for me? And this was a crime. I mean, this, this one doesn't really stand out to me at all. This guy, so be you, have the weirdest name ever, Wellington Silva Oliveira. It's a Wellington that throws me off. It's so Duke of Sussex of you to be named Wellington. 
I don't understand it, that's all. I just don't get it. So this guy with the world's worst name ever, he robbed a cook and he took his money and a watch. Being a connoisseur of watches, he said, this watch sucks. So what did he do? He took it back, took this watch back to the guy that he just robbed. Oh my God. And then as if that's not, I, I feel like at that point you have been rubber stamped on the forehead as a, an idiot for the rest of your life. So anything I tell you now, it's just like, of course that guy would do that. This guy's an idiot. <laughs> this guy's a fucking idiot. There's no way anything you tell me will surprise you. So it's probably not going to. Right, right across the way, from this place where the guy was working as a cook, there was a soccer field. And this guy, Wellington, he went over there and just played soccer for like hours after returning the watch. And it, he was there for so long that the police showed up. They were like roaming the neighborhood looking for somebody that just robbed a guy, right? And then who's the guy? Oh, is that the guy that matches the exact description? Yeah, I think we got him. He's right there. Like the cook saw him over the span of, you know, that first moment where, oh, this guy robbed me. And then he comes back like 30 minutes later and you get to like really remember what does he actually look like? Oh my God, it's the same guy, right? You see him a third time that day. That's it. That's like, that's the guy. All right, you know what? Th that's, this one went on too long. Oh man. So I'm going to keep this one. This one is going to be short and sweet. This is some UK, UK, okay? UK fam. This guy in the UK, he broke into a house. I guess he wanted to check Snapchat or something because he pulled out his phone and he left it there. I mean, it probably just fell out of his pocket, but no, no. He, he took it out on purpose and really thought about this will get me in the most trouble possible in the quickest amount of time. I'm gonna take a photo of myself robbing this house and put it as my lock screen and leave my phone here on purpose. That's what he did. Wow, this guy got sentenced to 160 hours of community service? I don't know about that, dude. When you're breaking into people's houses, that's, that's like not a silly crime, you know? It's like a very serious crime. That's a terrible decision. I would never expect a terrible decision from the United Kingdom. There's a guy in Australia called Brad McDonald, famous snake handler. <laughs> He just captured a highly venomous snake. And so he just caught it, right? And he puts it, he's like, nice, I got this snake, sick. I'm gonna go put it in my car and then I'm gonna go do my thing and come back in like 30 minutes. Somebody stole the venomous snake out of his car while he was gone. And I'm sure that that couldn't have ended well for them. I don't think that that was the dumbest criminal. Wow. I don't know, man, this, I don't really even think this one's funny because it takes place in South Africa, our shining star of dumb criminals. No, but I saw the town, I saw the name for the town of Johannesburg and I immediately just felt bad for everybody involved in the story that I'm about to read. So this guy is just chilling at his house in Johannesburg and he sits down on his couch. The reason he sat down on his couch is because he was giving an interview to the police about his house just being robbed. So he's talking to the police, the guy takes his statement, he's like, doesn't it suck to live here? And he's like, yeah, it's terrible. While they're having this conversation, the homeowner just so happens to look under the couch at the policeman's legs, the kind of like corner of the bottom of the couch, and he sees the burglar laying under the couch. The burglar was arrested and they got back the stuff that he stole, so. What a lukewarm five out of 10 story to end it on. Should I end it? No. In, in Hungary, some lady tried to rob a, a store with a can of deodorant. <laughs> some lady tried to rob a store in Hungary with a can of deodorant. I think that one's a good one to end it on. Okay. All right, so listen, listen. If you wanna hear me talk in the future, here's what you do. You subscribe to my channel, and then you watch my videos, and then you hit the thumbs up. Yes, good, yes. And then what do you do? You create thousands of fake accounts. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> subscribe to me on all of them. It's a joke, it's a joke. Buy views for me, high retention views. It's a joke, it's just a joke. You can send money to me for, just for, send, send me money. That's good too. No, it's a joke, it's just a joke, it's all a joke. Uh, subscribe to my channel though, because 
I very much would like that. <laughs> Thanks.